Eden all, welcome to uh, Eve Online. Wow, so today, this, <laughs> after the last few videos, I've been interested in the whole Nyx, you know, mothership, super carrier, ratting thing. Um, now, I also played Eve Valkyrie when it first came out, so I put a little bit of footage in that, because intrinsically, aren't these two games linked? Where basically you fly out of a mothership and then you do stuff with VR in the game. So I guess firstly, let's talk about maybe the mechanics of uh, ratting and carriers in Eve. That's kind of broken, in my opinion, um, and we'll talk about that. Secondly, we'll talk about why on earth is Valkyrie not linked to Eve still? Now I know there's kind of a massive coding challenge with that, but we'll, we'll talk about that. I mean, look, imagine if that was a window in your ship that you could actually fly one of the fighters as well. All the codes there is just about how you then interpret the engine. Um, so we'll come to that. Firstly, why on earth they've allowed motherships to rat, I don't understand. Now, don't get me wrong, it's amazing ratting in a mothership. I tried it, this is my first attempt here. I had no idea what I'm doing, I'm flailing and clicking wildly. I, <laughs> I mean, that interface was not there when I, when I last played with a mothership. But what's really cool is it's absolutely designed for ratting. Like, they've just said the super carry is basically your ultimate ratting machine. The fighters hit so goddamn hard. I mean, they hit hard. And they, you know, they hit harder than a, <laughs> a Louis Theroux documentary series because they just seem to have um, the ability to track, move quickly. I mean, they're a squadron of frigates and cruisers, effectively. So, but I love it. I mean, it's fantastic. And this is this is kind of what I think the the, the challenge of CCP is, is that, you know, because I've been gone for the, year, for the game for years, when I played the game, they were quite mean with their cap with what the ships and games capability was. So it was quite hard to earn a living and so on. And I think what they've done is that I'm not saying they've made Eve easier, but they've made it so that everything just generally is more accessible, which in a game is probably the right thing to do. I'm not going to say that's a bad thing at all. I think actually making it so that your Titan can do more, your super carrier can do more, that, you know, things are just easier. Like some of the, the quality of life stuff in this game is wonderful. And invention, scanning, are two that jump to mind immediately. They've really looked to make the game a lot simpler and more fun. And I applaud that massively. But I guess the challenge is, is that, you know, now you've probably lost a bit of the threat. You know, it was a hard game for a reason. And, you know, if you, were, if you ratted in a belt, you would use something like a battleship or whatever. And there was always a risk that you'd be caught. You know, if you mined in deep space, there was always the risk that somebody would find you and kill you before you could escape. So that little bit of worry in the belly was always nice. And I think it actually worked well to the game's benefit because um, it felt exciting, right? But ratting in a carrier, super carrier or mothership, um, just comes to me with zero risk at all. So this video is called Zero Risk in, in 0, 0.0. And I, I don't mean that holistically. Obviously, there's risk in everything you do, even there's risk in Empire still. I'm not saying there's not, but it's reduced from what it was. Zero Zero was a place where you had to keep, you know, quote, your head on a swivel to talk like cool spec ops people. Uh, but it, you just don't, I don't get that impression from it anymore. Obviously, you need to be careful, and obviously, a, a group of dreads are going to make short work of a lot of things. But you know, motherships are pretty tough. I mean, I think it would take quite a lot to kill a mothership in uh, in deep space, particularly if you've got the right heavy bombers loaded and so on. So, I think that was quite a surprise. I mean, what's what's the next logical conclusion there? Then it's to allow stations to rat, so you can basically plonk a station at a I don't know an anomaly or some stupid crap like that. And then all of a sudden, yeah, click button, dead. 20, you know, 120 mil ticks for me, please. And like, when there's no risk in the game, it's just like churning an engine. It's like, what, what are you getting more risk for? Because already hyperinflation in this game is comical. And that comes from botting. That comes from people having so much risk in the game that they can buy so much and they're, you know, they're consuming more. And this is why there is this... Um, this, this, this almost hyperinflation going on where, you know, Tritanium worth more than Pyrite. What? Excuse me? Pardon? Huh? What? You know, it, that's kind of crazy and silly. So it's things like that that I think really make me um, happy because the game is so much more easy to play and the game is so much more accessible and, it's, you know, there's, there's so many good things to it. And I'm not moaning, I promise you. This is just my opinion of somebody who's not played for a long time. You know, the first thing you notice when you come back is, wow, everything's really accessible and easy and simple. And, you know, I think that's a good thing. But, you know, there is a limit to that because the, the, the core of the game 
which was you feeling good for rewarding yourself for learning something complex is wonderful. And I don't feel that as much, I think. I, I can only imagine zero zero is a very static, stale place at the moment. Yeah, okay, you kind of, it's like an endless game of Risk. You do, if you ever play the game Risk, you'll know what I mean. It's, if you ever play one of those games where it just never ends, it's impossible to end sometimes because there's always the ability to bounce back and take another bit of space and blah, blah, blah. And the names are the same. I mean, I even saw AAA against the authorities are still where they were you know, 15 years ago when I played the game. And that's awesome. I'm really pleased for them. But it just makes me think, God, you know, how have you not got bored of this game? <laughs> Seriously, in 15 years. And I guess there's just this constant revolving door of people, I'd imagine. Um, but there's not, when it comes to certain personalities, they're still in the game and they're still very vocal. And it's like, wow, you know, you, that's impressive. I'm, I'm impressed. Right, let's talk about Valkyrie. So I, I quite like Valkyrie, but it wasn't as good as Elite. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. Conversation done. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Elite VR is, is by far the best VR experience you can have right now. Because it works. It really does work. Uh, uh, Valkyrie doesn't. I think it's because it's kind of round based, it's kind of pointless. Um, I don't know, it, it, it feels the like the logical conclusion of what I was talking about a moment ago in that eventually EVE will become like this arcade style shooter where, you know, for example, you'll lose a ship and then the game will just say, would you like to spend 20% 20 20 more risk and we'll give you another ship and you don't have to go and look for it and it'll just be given to you. And I think that's kind of a challenge because I can see that being the next logical conclusion of this easy access game and I think it's because people don't want to immerse themselves in the same level of of detail um, obviously I'm not again I won't generalize I'd say there's always going to be a, a select group of people who are very hardcore and they understand and research this game and they go into it in that additional depth but you know CCP have to target the majority and I think they've done that absolutely and I'd even say Eve as an alpha clone experience is one of the best free-to-play MMOs I think on the market today and Josh was uh, was was kind of giving me this this lowdown on it. He was he was he was speaking with such eloquence while completely stoned, and that was a really fantastic <laughs> kind of juxtaposition of traits. But anyway, he was telling me with uh, incredible eloquence how like this game is like the best alpha experience. And you know we talked you through it, and I agree with him. I think actually, you know, the, there's so much you can do up to battleship. There's pretty much everything in the game that you could experience up to you know, kind of veteran status, if you like. So, yeah, it was impressive, and I, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but Valkyrie, let's talk about that. I mean, it, it needs that little bit of depth. It needs a little bit more than customization of costumes. My God. And um, it needs people playing it, because I don't think anyone's playing it. So here's what I would do. And now, I am in the software game, so I'm going to speak with absolute certainty this is possible, and la 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 la, you can't tell me it's not. I'm joking, I, I know nothing. <laughs> but this is what I would do if, if I had the money. Would be, I would take all of the code of Valkyrie, remove all of the, the maps and remove all of that crap and make the entities in some way a, uh, a fighter entity in the game, in, in EVE. And then just allow that person to fly a very fast ship using the first person controls within um, EVE and allow this to happen. And have it so that, you know, court mates can clone jump to your carrier, jump in the fighters and off they go. Now, you can still have the swarms of fighters that are in the, you know, the, the EVE game. You can see that. Um, but you would have these special fighters that could be like command fighters. That, to me, would be one of the kind of um, unique sizzles that the game needs. And I went on about this with Dust all the time. That in Dust, you needed to have this sales piece which is what would make people come and check it out. Now at the moment, Eve, there's nothing really in Eve that I think people are checking out other than maybe it's free at the moment. What I would do is have the ability to say, you can fly a, a ship 25 miles long, or however long a Titan is, and then you can also fly a fighter supporting a main fleet battle. Now I know there's gonna be lots of issues, I know there's gonna be challenge, and I would urge the CCP developers not to make this a, to, to try and develop this as a user case for zero zero where you're 6,000 battles make it so that if you've got more than five carriers in system or five motherships in system you can't do this so therefore there's incentive to reduce the scale and scope of this slightly make it so it's more of a raiding thing jump the ship in launch your dudes they fly around going nuts and going crazy and yoloing all over the place don't bother with VR just leave it as a as a fixed camera as you see here as that's how I'm playing it now and have it so that you can you know, jump in, gank, shoot, kill, blah, 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 and out, out you go. Now, there has to be something to kill. So obviously, this is where it becomes slightly difficult. But I just think right now, if that, if that was in the game, 
the gaming press would literally you know, ingest itself with excitement over what could be an amazing thing. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.